ever since I left the city, you Hi guys, so welcome to my Cape Town vlog. It's actually a girl's trip <laughs> that started yesterday, but yesterday I was just too tired to do even a clip of like the movement from Joburg arrival in Cape Town. But I did kind of like try to do a reel on my Instagram um, just to give you guys an idea of, you know, the excitement that was happening just as we were leaving but yeah i just felt like guys i'm not going to take you through the old airport again and be like this is the airport now from Joburg, just landed in cape town no um as you guys know usually when i travel we do airbnb because i just often feel like it's way more affordable and then with this particular trip what we did was decide to just really splurge because the accommodation was sleeping at actually cost us 26,300 rand for four people and initially it was supposed to be more than four people but you know how it is when you plan girls trips or trips at all <laughs> people eventually pull out etc etc so it ended up just being like four of us the budget that we had had at the beginning of the year when we started to think about the fact that we want to travel to Cape Town was planned to be 15,000 rand per person so that basically gave us a budget of 60,000 and we decided to take a majority of that and invest it in the accommodation because we're literally going to be here so you know how it is we wanted an instagrammable apartment so the apartment is like literally in front of the beach um it has a private pool it has like this nice balcony setup situation it's like really nice and then of course each of us now get to have our own individual bedroom because the place has four bedrooms if it had been more of us then it would have meant of course some people have to share which would have still been great because i feel like the accommodation can take up to eight people but i'm really not complaining the place is like very full there's a bright area there's like a nice patio set the kitchen is spacious it's just worth it, guys. It's worth it. And then, of course, we felt like, Sis Matzala, guys. <laughs> we can't keep squatting in weird accommodations, especially for a holiday that is, like, at the end of the year, which is basically our reward to ourselves for all the <coughs> we had to put up with throughout the entire year. So stay tuned to see what's about to happen in this travel vlog. I'm about to attempt. Actually, I should probably put on my gown because... My night is a bit like sultry and sexy. So what I'm gonna do now is go and try and wake people up and irritate them. First victim. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Hello. Welcome to Cape Town. Hi darling. Say hi to the people. <laughs> on to our next victim she tends to be very grumpy in the morning but we're just mm. taking a chance hi mama Gaisa. how are you darling <laughs> please say hi to the people at least like a wave or something this is the attempt to wake up Kaili Shemazia she may swear at us she may tell us to go away um but she may also receive us very well so i'm just crossing my fingers and going into her bedroom it's time for us to figure out what we're going to do today so mm -mm. you can't say i must go away so it's like time to wake up now don't do anything. you can't say you don't want to do anything why did we fly all the miles that we flew to come here so since we arrived here, Fudi does not want it to be in any of the content. Since, okay, maybe this morning she tried. But now as I'm sitting outside, she's like, Smiley, come and videotape me. Blah, blah, blah. Because she's now mixing alcohol. Guys, it's like 9 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> this is the mix of alcohol that is happening. It's 8 o'clock somewhere. Come, tell us what you're doing. I'm the good one. Shane, good girl. Yes. Fundi, what is so this? I'm smashing my berries so that I take out the flavor bits. You're smashing, mash, smashing the berries. And then? Yeah, and then I'll add them to my drink. Okay. Well, this is the best smash I could get here. Yeah, the general of the ice. 
because this drinks the more than two thoughts, you see. <laughs> Hello. By the way, you need to make the best cocktails. Yes, that from the top. Yeah. Also, so this is my message to mothers of toddlers, young kids, and whatever. You need to live your life. At some point, you need to get back to just being yourself, having a life outside of your child. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, you're going to be miserable. And frustrated. Children are evil. <laughs> they are born that way. Mm. And the Bible says in the book of... Yeah, they're evil. How? Yeah, but they take. take. We love them, but all they do is take. Okay. So you need to take time out to recharge. Hi guys, so now we are off to our day drive adventure um, Because we couldn't do the quad biking today, we've actually booked it for Sunday But we decided to do a... Hi Ideas, how are you? We're good, thank you We decided to do a drive called the Chapman's Peak or the Chapman's Peak Drive Which is basically different areas or different points um, around Table Mountain and then the, the drive is just always called Chapman's Peak because it's also like Chapman's Peak, that side of the mountain. It's got beautiful views. Um, we did it the last time I was here in Cape Town, but today I get to do it with the girls and our girls trip and it's going to be fun. So you guys stay tuned. Point is like the last part of um, the continent, which is partly why we came here. Um, and part of the reason we came here is because I haven't done Cape Point in like probably since I was in high school when we came, came for a school trip in high school. But now the problem is there's just so much wind here, we doubt that we're going to make it all the way to the top. We're still negotiating, and then if anything, we are feeling a bit peckish. Not even packaged, but just hungry <laughs> because the last thing we had was breakfast in the morning. So now we're feeling quite hungry, but yeah, it is what it is. We're probably just going to end up. My hair, guys, mm, bear with me. We're probably just going to end up getting a snack and then bouncing because it's better for us to rather go do Chapman's Peak Drive so that we can see the views than to stay here and just go and see what are they eating. So yeah. Stay tuned to see what's happening. So we are now uh, inside the train. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. We're inside the train that takes you all the way up to the top of Cape Point, where I'm actually, you know, trying to vlog from. It costs about 85 grand return trip for an adult because alternatively you can just hike all the way up and hike all the way down. But we just don't have that kind of life. We're not trying to be those people. So here we are in the train going all the way up. Let me see if you can see anything from the bag. So that's the view from where we are on the train. It's a very beautiful view, but that's basically all you get to see. So we got to the top of the mountain but as you can see my hair is all over the place because the wind is crazy we're even lucky that the storm has actually not come in as yet but i'm pretty sure it's on the way so sometimes i get to feel like people don't know what to do when they get to cape point it's like you get here and then you just walk all the way up to go and see the ocean take a couple of pictures and that's it however today i wanted to show you also this amazing um history cabinet place where if you're a history person or you're into I think this is like what a look at the life in the oceans there's just so much history here that you can get to explore which is something that I feel like we never get to see in the highlights of Cape Point so yeah I feel like maybe this would be worth my 85 rand that I paid to come up here because it's like an entire room full of all the history and the artisans etc and then right over there there's like a shop right over there there's like a shop where you can go to get a souvenir 
I do know that there's another shop downstairs when you come down um, or when you're at the bottom if you decide not to take the train up and you guys just, just decide to walk there's another shop that you can go into where you can buy souvenirs so I'm gonna see you guys on the flip side don't forget to like and subscribe to the video guys thank you so crazy thing so we got here I remember I said we were feeling a bit hungry and then we ordered pizzas the price of the pizza is the same as a large pizza but please look at the size like it's a 19 centimeter guys this we paid 75 rand it's basically the size of a real deal pizza but like at three times the price because this place is secluded um the prices for food is going to be ridiculous because they know that there's nowhere else where you're going to find something to eat from a snack to a drink etc and then also i feel like it doesn't make sense to make us pay 85 rand return to go all the way up there when even at the gate we paid 180 and we paid 180 because we are recognized as sadek because obviously our ids are not south african but like i'm gonna pay 180 there come here and pay 85 rand return i do know that obviously there's the option for you to walk up so that you don't pay the 85 rand but it's just a bit of a distance if you're not someone who enjoys hiking in particular you know and then today it was raining or it's already started raining so it's just like there's no way we're gonna do that so yeah heads up on the food prices when you come to cape point rain eventually stopped and we thought let us go and actually do the chapman's peak drive so we're along that route and i would definitely recommend that if you come to cape town and you're able to get transport like we did um do the chapman's peak drive the views the scenery it's just so nice I just want to show you a bit it's so beautiful like this beach reminds me of what ideally Durban would ideally look like on a random day and this is not even like the end of it like this isn't even all the is to see like we're still on like the first part of the drive and what's nice about it is the fact that you don't necessarily go out of your way to get to the drive. If you decide to go to Cape Point, for example, you leave Cape Point and then you drive up around the mountain to get to experience um, the Chapman Peak Drive. It's a beautiful drive. I definitely recommend it. Hopefully, as we continue driving and the rain continues being <laughs> kind to us, I'll show you a bit more of um, what is happening or rather of the views that are here i've taken some amazing pictures while on my travels here and i just feel like i can never get enough it's like very serene very touristy very calm it's almost like you're not in that side of cape town at all it's very peaceful um so yeah stay tuned i'm gonna show you a bit more of the views if we're able to get to them um without the rain coming back hi guys so now we're just basically wrapping up the end of day two of our girls trip to cape town because we are about to obviously go out because you can tell from the change of clothing and then bit of judging up of my makeup and goodness taking care of my hair <laughs> from all the wind that was happening at cape point so i just wanted to say that for our cape point trip or our chapman peaks drive we actually rented out our uber which basically means instead of going onto the app to find an Uber, we just basically used as a guy that had Ubered it from the app, had Ubered us from the airport yesterday because we thought to ourselves trying to rent an Uber all the way to Cape Point. The problem is you could do it, but when you now want to leave Cape Point, there aren't a lot of readily available Uber drivers and or Uber taxis. So the best solution is to, if you can't find a tour company, which I feel like could probably be a bit more pricey than the option that we used, then just ask your Uber driver if he would be willing to do a trip for you guys 
similar to the one that we did which is basically from Camps Bay to Cape Point all the way around and then up Chapman Peaks Drive and then back to Camps Bay it's such an absolutely beautiful ride um, or drive rather the scenery the views everything is absolutely amazing I would definitely recommend it um, I have linked in the description box I've put details of our Uber driver so that maybe the next time you're in Cape Town or when you want to travel to Cape Town you could use the same guy that we used he was so understanding he was so nice a bit funny a bit chatty but not in a way that makes you feel like oh my gosh when are we gonna end <laughs> But yeah, um, I've put his details in the description box so you guys can check it out. Otherwise, Tina, because it's Bangane and we're here to turn up, we're actually going out right now. Our plan is to club hop along Long Street. So I don't know how that's going to go. I don't know if it's actually going to happen. And also, even though I want to be able to show you guys what we were getting up to or which clubs we went to, I'm not necessarily sure if I'll be able to be doing a video inside a club because you know how people are now with the poppy act people don't want to be showing in the background of whatever your picture or your video etc so that basically means i'm not sure if there'll be footage for the night but if there isn't best believe that tomorrow morning before we go for wine tasting i will be here sharing with you guys my reviews of the clubs that we actually did club hop if we club hop and or the club that we are actually going to end up at other than that you guys please stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe button honey it will not cost you a single thing and please do join my community and we make Nambali talks community larger see you guys later hi guys welcome to day three of our girls trip to cape town um so yesterday we went out and we actually thought we were going to infinity and no no <laughs> anyway we ended up at capello um it's all along long street and then my advice is if you are a grown woman like myself you see and you want to have fun with your girls and fun that you're going to pay for yourselves and you're just going to be able to enjoy it in peace without feeling like you're a piece of meat um don't go to infinity unless maybe they have like a poster out to say that these are the artists that they're going to be having on the day and then you want to go and see that particular artist otherwise i was just like I definitely recommend Capello. We bought their platters. The food was more than enough. We bought two platters and we intentionally did so because we wanted to eat one platter there and then wanted to take the other one as a takeaway so that when we get back to the house, we can have something to eat, you know, to regain the stamina because alcohol is also not your friend. <laughs> so yeah, that's my two cents because today we are going wine tasting. Um, so yeah. That is on the card, so you guys stay tuned and please do subscribe to the channel and also please hit that like button guys because it helps for my YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, let me hydrate here with my immune to bring back my stamina from last night. See you later. So now we are off to wine tasting at Queen Rock. Um, based on the pictures that I've seen on Instagram, it's supposed to be super amazing. In terms of views anyway <laughs> and shame the ladies they brought I would like how are you looking this hot hi ma'am how are you darling I'm good you look so pretty thank you thank you yes nice to see okay. yes honey representing crown necessity, crown necessity the representing the lady boy and accessories I see you honey Absolutely. I see you hi ladies how are you Oh, you look so pretty. Mm. Yes, man. Yes. And then the booties, mm, guys. Like, I'm like, and then the booties. Yes, Mama Ga Esa. <laughs>
so then the chef went ahead and explained to us each and every meal that we were actually having each meal that you actually have at queen rock comes with the designated wine taste which i thought was absolutely amazing they actually do give you complimentary champagne on arrival so yeah the food was absolutely amazing hi guys so we ended up at queen rock for wine tasting and my god like okay first of all we haven't necessarily done the wine tasting but we started with food and then sorry my cable is stuck and then i feel like the food experience alone sort of comes with the wine tasting because they encourage you to pair all the food with a specific type of wine so that you can experience the palate of the food as well as the wine that goes well with it so that you have that nice taste in your tongue it was impeccable guys it was just it was wow <laughs> it was wow like it just literally felt like we were the rich housewives of you know it's food that is like very stylish very I don't know ambience creating for the place so that you can feel like okay this makes sense but what they will recommend this food that is a main course three three course meal <laughs> and then a five course meal so we did the three course meal because we thought it's just going to be a lot of food and it really was because i know that for my main i only had half of it also because my tummy was starting to get full and i just felt like i want to be able to eat dessert but the three cost meal is 650 per person and then the five cost meal is 750 per person excluding the wines but sometimes what they do like even when we got here they gave us complimentary champagne and then when we were having our main which for me was like a beef steak fillet they gave me compl complimentary red wine to pair it with because obviously it needs to go well i just felt like my goodness we are like in a mini heaven here at queen rock so i would definitely recommend queen rock as a wine tasting place but remember like i said we haven't exactly done the wine tasting we just had lunch so now only now we're going to be able to go and do the wine tasting which i'm going to be sharing with you guys and of course i'm going to be back for a review so you guys please stay tuned sorry for the imbalance of the things here. it's like very windy <laughs> but it's definitely worth the trip please look at that building so that's the wine tasting area and then right behind me there that's like the restaurant where we even, we initially started because obviously we were hungry etc etc and then if you go on instagram and do like a search of a tag or whatever and say queen rock you're going to see a lot of the images that people take in front of that restaurant same as these people here because it's just a very nice scenery but yeah i'm also going to be taking pictures there but for now i'm going wine tasting as i'm already feeling tipsy guys because <laughs> the wine that you drink during your meal is just so much like it's generous and considering the fact that you have three meals you basically get to drink four different wines because the first one is complimentary and then you have the three wines that go with like a starter as well as the main the main and then a dessert the dessert wine was i even bought bottles of it guys anyway that's part of what happens when you come for wine tasting but yeah i'll keep you guys posted stay tuned another outstanding feature about queen rock wine estates is the fact that they have a wide variety of places that you can actually explore and also be able to take pictures if you're a content creator like myself however because there were so many people around we couldn't exactly get like wide angle because i also didn't want to invade people's privacy but it's definitely a place i'd recommend for you to check out for wine tasting hi guys so we just got back from wine tasting and so we ended up not doing the wine tasting because first of all our uber driver was supposed to come back at half past five and by the time we were done with the restaurant it was already like quarter to five so my advice for someone who wants to do wine twist tasting <laughs> who wants to do wine tasting and also have lunch at queen rock um wine estate is that it's either you're going to arrive there early and please do have a reservation because when i called this morning to ask them if you need to have a reservation to come through they said oh yes no we do take walk-ins you know and then when we got there we discovered that the walk-ins are actually for the wine tasting lounge so in the restaurant you need to kind of specifically have a booking but luckily enough they were kind enough i'm feeling a bit hot <laughs> 
Luckily enough, they were kind enough to give us a table or to organize a table for us. So we ended up sitting at the restaurant. And now the thing is, which is what I mentioned earlier, that at the restaurant, as you're having your meals, your starter, your main, as well as your dessert, they do recommend certain wines that pair with the food that you're having. And then what I liked is some of the food came with a lot of like a complimentary wine type of thing, which was awesome because it meant that we don't have to pay for each and every glass that we're having just because we're having food. But at the same time, we get to have like a full experience. The one thing that I would say about the Queen Rock winelands, and I've been to other winelands, is that they really are good. Like their service is impeccable. Um, the food is okay in the sense that it's very classy. It's very sophisticated food. I do appreciate that they pair, they pair the food with different wines. But also because by the time we were done, we were already feeling like, ah, uh, because of all the wine that we had been having. And we did actually order an entire bottle for the table. So there was that as well, besides the tidbits of the wine that you get along the way with every other meal. So I would definitely say if you want to do wine tasting, go there early, have your lunch or whatever, maybe get there at like 11. Have your lunch until like 2 o'clock, then from 2 o'clock move to the wine tasting lounge. It's about 250 for the wine tasting per person, which I feel like is not bad because you get to taste, I think like five different wines. And it's one of their best wines because the wines, they don't source them. They're actually made there because Queen Rock actually owns the vineyard that is next to them, which is so amazing. Um, so, yeah, they make a lot of things in-house. They don't necessarily import, like, sauces and whatever. And I thought that was so great. So, if you're going to ask me where I would recommend for your wine tasting, definitely try Queen Rock because also the pictures that you get to take when you're there. The scenery is amazing. That glass building is amazing. So I would definitely recommend them as a place to do wine tasting. And then now we are back in the house and it's a Saturday, which is basically day three. And we're thinking, you know what, the way we're feeling, we're not going to go out because obviously when we got here, we bought alcohol, which then ideally means we don't necessarily have to go out to a club to go and get drunk and the fact that because we're drinking wine we're already slightly tipsy it actually works in our favor because literally we're just gonna sit down drink our bottles of gin and hennessy for some of us <laughs> and just have fun in the house because we also have a speaker and obviously netflix etc and then we're going to just have a braai and chill because it's just been already a jam-packed day when it comes to activities and then I feel like that's okay because you get to save money as well. And also we get to then enjoy the accommodation that we actually booked in the sense that we get to be in the house and enjoy the outside, the patio, the pool, etc. So that becomes another activity that you can have if your accommodation comes with all those things. And even though in the beginning of the video I mentioned that our accommodation was a bit pricey, it's just that we wanted something that first of all represented the class and the luxury that we want now that we are adults. <laughs> but we also wanted a house that came with a lot of amenities, like a pool, like a lawn, like the patio, um, different bedrooms so that we could sleep separately, etc. And this house definitely does come with that and I do feel like it was worth the price as well as obviously the benefits that you get from all the amenities that they order or they recommend on Airbnb. I've just put the name of the place in the description box. I can't exactly share the Airbnb link because Airbnb does not advise you to advertise your apartment outside them or outside their platform because it kind of creates an unfair competitive advantage for the people. But I have put the description of the apartment that I stayed in down below in case you want to go to Cape Town, especially if you're a big family and you feel like you want to stay here or you're a big group of people because this house can actually take up to eight people, which is absolutely amazing. It's got four bedrooms, so that's like two, two, two per bedroom, which is basically, again, eight people. So yeah, I'm out for now. I'm out to go and enjoy the bride downstairs and do my Hennessy. And yeah, please do stay tuned. Uh, I'll be showing a tidbit of whatever craziness that we get through in the bride if I'm allowed by the ladies. <laughs> but otherwise, we're going to catch up tomorrow when we go for the Atlantis Junes and Biking. Cheers. <laughs>
So today is Finn's birthday and the idea was that we are going to fill up the pool with some nice balloons and have a pool party in our bikinis. But the weather in Cape Town is just like, I'm not coming to the party, like, yeah. And it's even better now because it stopped raining. In the morning it was a bit like overcast, mist, rain. Which we're hoping that it's going to get better, but still, we can't guarantee that. And then we were supposed to go quad biking as well. And the guys from the place called us last night, which was so weird because they literally called it like 11 p.m. To tell us that they don't think it's going to be possible to do the quad biking this morning. They, can they please reschedule us for 3 p.m.? Now, the problem is we already obviously have a restaurant booking to celebrate the birthday girl. So we were kind of not able to then take them up on the 3 p.m. However, they did promise that they were going to refund us. Although it might take five to seven working days, you know how that goes. So yeah, we kind of don't have much of a plan this morning up until later. So you guys should stay tuned. <laughs> Came out in Cape Town. Well, we somewhat we were able to decorate our pool. It all goes, but we got enough to start at least sitting there by the phone. I'm like, what is the meaning of this? They're now acting like little ducklings. Like, what the heck? But anyway, it's a lovely day in Cape Town. Um, so, yes, we are on our way to Bungalow. We just need to go and get ready for it, and then I will keep you guys posted. Hi guys, so we actually did make it to the bungalow in Clifton and the weather is so generous I just feel like this entire trip when it comes to the weather God and my ancestors have been working over time to make sure that the girl is taken care of And yours what, nigga, when? People are busy claiming my shrine guys, like what the heck? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we're at the bungalow So the bungalow is basically like an outside type of area almost um, in front of the beach it has a nice view that i'm gonna try and show you we're sitting uh you see that view at the back there i'm just trying to make sure i'm not showing other people's faces so it's like literally in front of the beach um so there's those tables over there where you can sit but we are actually on like a couch setup that comes like this where you can rest and relax and yeah i just feel like it's so pretty um and i feel like it's actually a very good idea for sunday where now you've grooved and had fun and gotten drunk and turned up and broke your heel along the way <laughs> and then you just decide on sunday to chill look pretty and i do know that they actually do have a dj that comes at 4 p.m. So between 4 and 7, there's a DJ. But I'm not really sure of the music that they play. So I can just only hope and pray it's something that we can sing along and kind of dance to without it being slightly weird. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Okay. Then, red or green, but red is always the best. Yes. Just few drops. Okay. Then, then, get a bit of your salsa. Mm -hmm. What's the salsa made of? Red, Just... um, red onions, ah. a bit of vinegar, and white wine. Okay. Then, what you need to do... Uh-huh. And then slip it. Oh, okay. Sort of take it out a bit. Okay. Ah, okay. Then, of course, because Bangalore is such an amazing restaurant, we ended up spending the rest of our afternoon there. Um, however, because we are who we are, <laughs> 
We decided when we got home at around 6 p.m. that we should actually go and have Sunday sundowners, which was absolutely amazing because we did it at Capello. But of course, I couldn't capture the club content, and that basically kind of wrapped up our trip. Now, the next part of the video is just going to be me giving you guys an overall review of the kind of um, trip that we've had, tips and hacks, and how you can actually save a bit more money on your next girls trip so stay tuned hey so this pretty much wraps up our girls trip to cape town which um went from thursday to today which is monday it's been absolutely amazing so a few tips for anyone who might want to travel i'm sorry if my voice is a bit creaky <laughs> it's been a long weekend <laughs> so and a few tips for anybody who'd want to travel to do more or less the same thing that we did first of all our budget was 15,000 rand per person and because there were four of us that gave us about 60,000 rand to play around with and I mean play around with lightly because it literally allowed us to book accommodation to book flights and then to party and eat and do all the activities that you guys saw on this video on that same budget the only time where our budget ran out and i think it's probably because our accommodation we picked one that was a bit pricey as you can see it's such a beautiful house we wanted all the anemones with pools and everything plus a view as you guys saw earlier so that pretty much took up a lot of um, our budget, uh, you know. So maybe for you, it wouldn't be a house this big and or a house this pricey on a per night basis. And also because we were kind of late to book the accommodation, um, the closer to the date we got, the more pricey the spaces got as well. So if you know that you want to travel, say maybe in November, I would advise that probably really cement your accommodation, say maybe by August or September because... Of the price changes that then happen so we didn't have a rental car when we were here we decided to just use an uber because also party party all the time means we cannot have a sober driver um, I think the most expensive trips were the airport trips as well as the trip to Queen Rock wine estate which obviously is about an hour away which made sense but also oh and the drive to Cape Point as well as Chapman's Peak sorry guys I'm having coffee So those were our most expensive um, Uber rides. But also, like I mentioned before, you can then negotiate with your Uber on the day that you arrive to say, hey, can you please be our driver? How much are you going to cost us? And then you can just compare every morning with the amount that you think the Uber would have cost you. I do know that when we were going to Cape Point, it seemed like Uber would have been 331 to drop us off at Cape Point. But the problem with that is if you only do one trip and don't rent the Uber driver, then you risk literally getting stuck at Cape Point because it's so far out, it would take a lot for an Uber to want to drive all the way to where you are to come and get you after it has already dropped you off. So we basically booked our driver, paid about 1.2 uh, roughly for the trip to Cape Point and then the drive around the mountain all the way through what we call Chapman's Peak Drive, which was great. So if you get a chance to live your life, to enjoy it, to travel, to party, to drink if you drink responsibly <laughs> with those that you love and with your friends and family, my advice is take it, do it, go, you know, save up, do the thing. And sometimes you find it's not even the people that you thought you were going to travel with that you end up traveling with because, I mean, the world is vast. We have so many connections and so many friends. If you find people that are willing to go with you, jump on that plane, jump on that train or a bus, take it mdase, as people say. Take it because you don't know when is going to be the last time that you're actually able to do this. Life is unpredictable. Live as best as you can and stay safe. Oh, and also, um, remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Otherwise, adios. I'm off to catch my plane back home to Joburg. Mwah.